An intriguing shift in the weather pattern could cause severe storm chances to move northward towards parts of the northern plains, Midwest, Great Lakes, and Ohio Valley as we head towards next week. In fact, I've got the details on that stormy pattern that could bring an outbreak right here in this video, in addition to some information on temperatures ahead. Stick around. Nation weather. As always, I greatly appreciate you being here with me. If you want a free trial to the model maps that I use throughout my videos, check out the weather bell link down there in the description. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel and have not already for consistent, accurate, and easy to understand videos all the time. And if you hit that notification bell, of course, you will get notified exactly when I post. Now let's get right onto this here with the future radar. You can see as we head over the next few days, obviously we've got to track the conditions now. Then we'll talk a little bit more about that distance of your weather pattern. In the near term, what I'm circling here over parts of the east for our Wednesday, May 15th here. We're looking at a lot of showers and storms for, for parts of the Ohio Valley, the southeast, the mid-Atlantic, parts of the northeast. Mostly your everyday thunderstorms, but some of these will briefly pack a punch. We'll be watching the potential for some damaging winds, some hail in isolated fashion through parts of the southeast on our Wednesday. Our next system with more isolated to scattered severe weather and a similar flow to the system that we've seen in the early to midweek pattern here. That's going to get going as we go towards Thursday, May 16th. You can see showers and storms from the upper Midwest and during this time frame down to the south central plain. This will have been ongoing over the north central plains as well as parts of the south central plains really starting on Wednesday with some potential severe weather over Kansas and Oklahoma and northern Texas Wednesday. As we go towards our Thursday time frame, like I was just showing you, looking like the heaviest rain and maybe some severe thunderstorms will be ongoing over Texas as we head towards our Thursday afternoon. Here we go towards the end of the week. This is around your late Friday time frame. Any evening plans that you have on Friday over parts of really the mid-Mississippi Valley, parts of the Midwest, parts of the Ohio Valley, Tennessee Valley, the Southeast. Yeah, it's looking pretty rainy. Nothing too severe out of these storms, but the closer you go to the Gulf Coast, maybe even up towards a little bit of the Ohio Valley, we'll be watching at least some briefly stronger to severe storms over this region here as we head into the weekend ahead. In fact, it's looking like it's going to remain active over the southeast as the system almost just kind of lingers around. It's an upper level piece of energy. It means it's kind of just riding the overall upper air pattern, and that means it's going to be sitting around here over the southeastern United States with a little bit of a mind of its own, bringing more heavy rainfall and some scattered showers and storms from Pennsylvania back down to Florida on Saturday. Again, most of this activity by this point definitely winding down in terms of severe potential. Overall, maybe there's some minor flooding concerns as well out of that we'll have to keep an eye on. Now, we begin to shift our attention back towards the northwest of there as we head towards Sunday, May 19th. You can see some showers and storms developing over parts of the Dakotas, Nebraska, Minnesota. Don't really focus too much on exact placement of storm systems this far out because we're already getting towards that week and beyond time frame here, what I'm playing out. But nonetheless, you can see this European model, a pretty trusty model to go with, showing a fairly feisty storm system over parts of the Dakotas, Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, and northern Illinois as we head towards the early to mid part of next week, somewhere in that Tuesday, May 21st, Wednesday, May 22nd time frame. Starting late Monday, maybe going through the midweek time frame of next week, we'll have to watch some severe weather really from parts of the Central Plains, even some parts of the Northern Plains, all the way on over here towards the east. As you can see, the Midwest Great Lakes showing up with some showers and storms looking likely, you know, according to this model, Wednesday, May 22nd, going into Thursday, May 23rd. Again, I don't want to focus on exact placement, but the overall pattern showing that severe weather could be shifting to include zones further north and in a little bit more abundant fashion as we head towards next week. We'll do more of a in-depth breakdown on that momentarily, but circling this area down here with our two-day precipitation, this region obviously getting that rain rainfall here to finish off our week. So from May 16th through May 18th, this is late third, or excuse me, the early part of Thursday, going through the early part of Saturday here, May 16th through May 18th, looking at some very heavy rainfall from Eastern Texas over there to Alabama and Georgia. A lot of this falling late Thursday into Friday. Rainfall totals of four to six inches, nothing to play around with there from Southeast Texas on over to Georgia over really the end of this week. So definitely make sure that you're watching out for flooding, checking your latest alerts at weather.gov, and of course the timing of those storms on that hourly graphical forecast that you can get from the Weather Service. Here we go as we head towards the weekend, obviously Friday, through um, late Sunday here, the two-day time frame there, we're looking at the heaviest rain from Mississippi into parts of the Mid-Atlantic, one to three inches widespread over this region with some heavy rainfall and some overall garden variety showers and storms. Let's look at this Wednesday through Saturday, severe weather zones that we have to track. Wednesday, I think the best chance for severe weather is going to be over the Central Plains, parts of Oklahoma. That's where things are going to really have the bullseye. We'll be watching large hail, maybe a brief spin-up tornado or two, as well as some damaging winds over especially Kansas and Oklahoma and far northern Texas here on Wednesday, indicated by that yellow zone. This is the overall area where some isolated scattered severe weather will be likely in the yellow for Wednesday. Here we go towards the orange area Thursday, then the red area Friday, pushing through parts of the south central plains and especially Texas with some big hail, wind, and maybe some tornadoes on Thursday in Texas. 
And as we go towards parts of Friday here and areas eastward, you can see really maybe on up there towards the Midwest. It's still a little uncertain exactly what's going to happen closer to the Ohio Valley and Midwest line up there in Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, but especially on down there towards the Gulf Coast, especially Louisiana, Mississippi. We'll be watching the severe weather throughout Friday. And, and again, this is in addition to flooding. If we still see any severe weather as we head towards the Saturday time frame, that's going to head eastward towards parts of the rest of the southeast, including Alabama, Georgia, the Carolinas, and the Mid-Atlantic. Now let's zoom in and focus more on what we've got going on as we head towards next week with the overall pattern. Again, severe weather is going to shift northward. This could start as early as Sunday, May 19th of 2024. I'm not saying there won't be more severe weather continuing over parts of the south, parts of the southeast. It's just going to be focused a little bit further north as we head towards next week. Again, starting late Sunday, we'll be watching some showers and storms over parts of the northern plains moving into the upper Midwest. According to this ensemble collection, on our Monday, May 20th here. Again, an ensemble collection is a collection, in this case, of 50 models surrounding the European model here. So this is an average of a bunch of different runs giving us that data. And overall, it looks like in any area that you see the darker grays, some that is where this particular collection of models has higher certainty and some heavier rainfall and potentially, you know, maybe some severe weather getting in the mix. What we saw on that individual European model, this ensemble collection really reflects. You can see as we head towards Tuesday, May 21st in the afternoon here, this is the middle of the afternoon from parts of Kansas on over there to Michigan, at least watching some isolated to scattered showers and storms. Again, we don't really know whether this is going to be severe weather at this point or not. It certainly looks active over the North Central Plains, so that continues late Tuesday, heading into Wednesday over parts of the Midwest and Ohio Valley. Then the same model collection or ensemble group here, what you can see as we head towards parts of Thursday, May May 23rd of 2024 in the early morning hours, storms progressing over parts of the Mississippi Valley, some of it and maybe even on up there into the upper Mississippi Valley in Iowa and maybe even southern Minnesota here. So this is something we're certainly going to have to watch. And again, this is an overall pattern trend. You can see though, even as we head towards the Friday, May 24th time frame, and again, this is 10 days out as I filmed this video, looking like over the north central plains, the Midwest, Ohio Valley, that's where things are going to be the most active in terms of rainfall, and that could certainly mean severe weather with some of the ingredients that I'm about to show you here to kind of justify this pattern developing and building up a little bit more. So that's what we're watching late next week, and here is why we're watching this You're going closely. to notice a trough kind of dig on down here into parts of the central United States as we head towards next week. Look at that. You see that flow of the green colors, and I'm about to zoom in on it right here. You can see where I'm doing these arrows from parts of Arizona. Arizona and northern Mexico all the way here towards parts of Missouri. This area is where this particular collection of models is showing, okay, we're going to have an area in the mid-level jet stream here about 15 to 20,000 feet above people in America's heads. This is where when you have one of these troughs, you get a surface low down closer to the, obviously the surface, and you get the southerly winds associated with that. Crossing with these kind of west-southwesterlies in the upper levels, that's where you start to get a little bit more of that spin in the atmosphere, then some wind shear. And again, you can see that mid-level flow continuing, and even this upper level flow continuing to be pretty strong from the west-southwest 40, 50, 60 knots over a lot of the central United States, according to a collection of models being averaged out for the, even the mid to late part of next week. So some pretty high certainty on that. What we're also probably not going to be lacking is moisture. Let's just go with the GFS model on its own. We haven't done anything with the American runs of the models or ensembles here. Let's look at the GFS model. You can see as we head towards late Monday, May 20th, if we can get any severe weather to erupt, it looks like there's a very nice environment from parts of Nebraska back down here to northern Texas. Notice how that expands eastward. Remember parts of the Midwest may be getting in on some severe weather, potentially parts of the Mississippi Valley as well, heading out of the Central Plains Tuesday, May 21st, looking like abundance of moisture, any of these colors in the yellows, at least some moisture in place. These deeper oranges you see pushing on up towards Missouri, southwestern Iowa, that is some really intense moisture that could fuel some significant severe weather, again, if other ingredients that we've been looking at go correctly, which certainly looks like it will be a possibility. Here we go, looking at those dew points continuing here, the moisture content in the atmosphere as we head towards Wednesday, May 22nd. In the late day, some of these yellows and even some of those deeper yellows heading towards the orange color going on all the way up there towards parts of Wisconsin and Michigan where dew points will be at least over 60. That is plenty abundant for some severe weather there and it continues as we head towards Thursday over a lot of this region with deep, deep moisture progressing northward and that is the kind of thing that helps to support severe weather outbreaks. 
That's why we need to watch next week closely. Again, specific details are just not here yet, but we'll continue to track that for you and subscribe to the channel, obviously, if you want to get more of those updates delivered right to you as I learn more. Now, here we go. Let's look at those temperature anomalies. You can see as we head towards the back half of the upcoming weekend, Sunday, May 19th of 2024, warmer than average over a lot of the country, especially there in the high plains where temperatures are expected to be around 10 to 20 degrees above normal for this time of the year. But the interaction of some of this cooler air on off towards parts of the northwest with this warmer air on off towards the east, that's going to create that cold front. And I think the more that this cold front kind of lingers around over the central United States through a lot of next week, that's going to help to spark a lot of those storms along it. And again, notice how far north this cold front is. With it being further on up there in the north central plains, it really opens the door through at least midweek for the severe weather to erupt as far north as parts of Iowa, you know, Wisconsin, Michigan, some of those areas, until these zones fill in with that cooler air that I just circled here as we head towards the back half of the week. These ensembles, so again, the collection of models that build the ensemble system here, really indicating that we're going to have cooler air over the north central United States by the end of next week, so heading towards the 23rd through 26th time frame, looking to be cooler over the northern tier and therefore kind of degrading severe chances temporarily over that region. Here we go. You can see day by day let's track our high temperatures wednesday may 15 2024 broad area of a lot of warmth here parts of the central plains to the east really just a huge area of warmth that i want to track here from parts of the western united states to the east coast it's not very warm but we've got a lot of 60s 70s to go around and again you can find your individual area on the map as i talk about zones here you can see down here over the south central plains parts of texas oklahoma arkansas and louisiana on our wednesday we're looking at a lot of upper 80s and low 90s down there in florida some record-breaking mid and upper 90s it is going to be downright nasty yeah i'm slamming my hand down on the desk just filthy with the dew points so warm the moisture content is going to be high it's going to feel more like the triple digits in a lot of these areas make sure if you're outside for an extended period of time or even just a moderate period of time that you are staying hydrated you can see over there over parts of the southwestern united states a lot of 80s some valley 90s getting going there obviously closer you go to southern california southwestern arizona closer to the triple digits you get on thursday and really continuing with this pattern this area just circled over the upper midwest the great lakes thursday a lot of upper 70s down here over the southeast some mid and upper 80s here thursday a very warm day and that's going to remember help to support a little bit of that severe weather that's going to try and eventually move out of texas further to the east on friday here we go towards our Friday. In fact, let's look at those highs then. A lot of areas seeing very similar temperatures. You can see uh, over here over the Midwest, parts of the mid-Mississippi Valley, a lot of these zones that we'll be watching for severe weather towards next week. Plenty of mid and upper 70s for our Friday here over this area. Lots of mid and upper 80s trying to get going here into parts of the High Plains and especially the Southern High Plains Friday down there into western Texas. Look at how some of the temperatures in Texas really get jacked up here as we head towards the weekend. And you can overall notice that southerly flow going as far north as parts of Minnesota, Wisconsin with 80s there. Got lots of other 70s and 80s over parts of the southeast, but man, in those grayish colors, yeah, some of the first real widespread hundreds filling in into parts of western Texas and southern Texas especially, at least for the feels-like temperatures in some cases. Definitely mid and upper 90s for a lot of folks, though. Same goes down there into southern Nevada, southern Arizona. We'll also be watching on that same day there and at Florida, very hot conditions. That continues towards our Sunday, May 19th. Were very warm temperatures could continue to break records in those box areas of Florida then. Over the upper Midwest Great Lakes on Sunday, May 19th, lots of 80s. And again, this is just kind of the overall pattern carrying us towards when we'll eventually see severe weather probably in a lot of these zones next week. Notice plenty of upper 70s Monday in some of these spots of Nebraska, South Dakota, Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, um, into parts of Michigan as well. Down here over the South Central Plains, we'll be watching more 90s, even some temperatures above 100 in a lot of southwestern and south central Texas. And it looks like a warm pattern continues for at least the early part of next week into at least the central parts of the United States and the north central, at least getting in its 70s as well, and up there in the Dakotas, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan. That's why we'll need to watch all these areas closely as we head towards next week for some severe weather. Again, if we get an outbreak, of course, you know I'll post a video, maybe do an update live stream as well. That's why you want to subscribe to the channel right here for consistent, accurate, and easy to understand videos and streams. That's it for this video. I hope everybody has a great rest of the week. Until my next video. One Nation Weather.